engine go. Good morning, everybody. My name is Osa. It is Saturday, the 3rd of June, and we are playing Farming Simulator 22 on Maple Farm. And I am taking the fence out with the um, spray tank thing. Because uh, we have a field of corn, maize, whatever you want to call it, that needs some um, treatment and probably has, well, might have some weeds. I don't know. Yes, has some weeds. I do want to add GPS to this tractor at some point. So, what are we doing? Um, at, oh crikey. So, at the end of last Saturday, it was midday in the month before June, which is probably May. And, uh, we, um, we were doing a bunch of contracts. Then it was Monday, and Monday was a holiday. And I wasn't actually prepared for Monday being a holiday. So, uh, that is what it is. That is on auto. And as we can see from our little map, corn needs an absolute ton of fertilizer. So, uh, We'll get this sprayed. So, on Monday, I did four of six uh, silage contracts, which actually completed the delivery requirements for all six. So once I ended Monday's stream, I continued with the last two contracts, and all of the bales are now sat in our new bale storage, which I did buy at the end of Monday. And I will let you know that I have had some issues with it. So, what's the problem? The problem is that uh, we're stuck on a post. Um, I still have to buy some... Uh, Oh, I'm turning the wrong way. I'm a moron. Um, I still have to buy some uh, maize silage to feed the cows for now. But that is obviously not going to be too much of an ongoing thing, I hope. Well, this field is not going to be sufficient maize silage for next year. But, yeah. At least we'll have some, it'll offset our purchase costs a little. But I might do a little bit of a demonstration later on this morning doing that because we still need to feed the cows. I am not going to cut our grass field today. Um, we can get two more cuts on the grass field. Um, and make far more um, grass than if we did three more cuts. So I'm not cutting today, I'll cut next month and then that should time it. We cut November and that's the maximum amount of grass we can get for the year. And we'll feed that directly to the cows because they need the food. The problem is, is the grass that we're cutting is only sufficient to feed the cows one month. So we have to supplement every other month with a silage, maize silage, or grass silage, maize silage mix. So going forward, I'm gonna look at trying to produce enough to make that happen. But this year, it's kind of a little bit of a test. This is a small field of maize and we'll see what we can do with it. How, what's the best way to harvest it? I'm hoping we can mow it and bale it and wrap it because that seems to be the most efficient way of making silage with Maze Plus. 
uh, using a, um, a forage harvester produces less product even with a silage additive so we'll see it might be that the mower doesn't work on maize and we will have no option but to do the forage harvester thing I'm probably not going to get a forage harvester we'll just slap an adapter on the front of the big John Deere and forage that way Although I might want a bigger um, doodad to stick on the front of it uh, to uh, maize silage trailer thing to move the product away from the field okay what else have we done I have also bought the small BGA by Disturb Simulations which does have a 75,000 liter capacity which is way more than the on map BGA unfortunately 75,000 liters is processed in approximately one third of a month so yeah that's kind of a thing we are um, I am having to fill that daily now I did download his um, sort of industrial BGA which has a capacity of half a million that you know might actually save my sanity a bit okay it's going to take a lot longer to move all the product down there but I can do a lot of it in one go and then just leave it to process and top it up occasionally either way that's one of the reasons why we have 89,000 money in the bank along with all of the silage contracts we did um, there was a sale item of a career um, oh, what was it um, Ho. so I'm going to use a hoe on this field and see if we can um, eliminate the weeds and not and get maximum um, production I don't know if that's a thing but yeah, we'll give it a chance what else are we doing that's pretty much all that we're doing at the moment we are I mean we've got more money than makes me uncomfortable right now so that's kind of a good thing I'm probably having to go up the left side here yes so in spite of the fact we've got a big deficit of nitrogen on this field we definitely have enough um, fertilizer in the tank to get this field completed come on little tractor you can do this oh. um, I must admit I forget what was on sale sales you've got the chrome you've got a nice big spreader and you've got the Johnston flatbed which has been featured on uh, both uh, law folds and Oakfield um, for our Saturday series so uh, not going to use it this time because I feel it's been a little bit overworked but I do like that trailer because you can use it for logs animal transport and bales production pallets that sort of thing I do feel that Farm Sim 17 it was far easier to attach the modifications to it than it was in 19. Um, 19 was, you know, you kind of had to stuff um, things underneath the trailer in order for them to uh, hit the trigger to attach.
but that's fine. Um, as I said, we're not going to use that this time. I have, okay. So the other thing I did was I did enable auto loading on our Roland bale trailer purely because bales will load to it and unload from it far more easily than the Anderson um, and I'm really considering just junking the Anderson and the extractor because they just don't want to do their thing and I don't know what the reason is they're just all they're just totally bugging out with bales and just causing me a ton of grief so since the cows need some food today I will be running down to the store to get some and then we'll see if I get similar errors as I did last or last week off camera when I had to top up their food it seems I'm going through about 24 bales of maize silage from the store per game month which actually doesn't sound too bad they're not super expensive but I'm hoping this field will give me the opportunity to uh, make um, a month, at least a month's worth of maize, so we save a little bit of money there. Um, oh, the other thing, obviously, with the a BGA upgrade is the industrial BGA costs two hundred fifty thousand with its five hundred thousand litre capacities. Um, the miniature one costs fifty. Um, but I'm not, you know, it's sort of, well, I could buy, you know, three or four little ones or upgrade the little one because uh, it, it is upgradable so we could make it double capacity, but that creates double processing, which means I still need to feed it up every day, every game day. So every third of a month I'm having to put 75,000 litres of, of um slurry and um, manure in it I honestly don't know how much I'm making of each of those but obviously that will be happening later on today as well I just filled it up this morning it took about half an hour so uh, it's not too much of a problem, I guess. So I am going to finish this off. We'll take the tank back to the yard. I guess I can unload it. And then I think we can head off to the store, get the weeder. I'll put this on a worker. back to this field and we'll get rid of the weeds now using a, a weeder on a field is not going to give you as good an environmental score as using herbicide but one thing I haven't tested is does it affect the uh, yield and I think what I'm going to end up having to do is um, one of our existing fields will harvest it, will make note of how much we get off it and then next year I will plant exactly the same thing in there and send the weeder out, use the weeder instead. Okay, I am going to drop this right here. Maybe, thank you. And John Deere's kind of in the way. Ah, no, it's not. Uh, 
and I did get a wait for the fend because I was doing something that was giving me a little bit of grief on the haulage. So we're going to head down to the store. So, maize is done. We are good with the maize. All we have to do is wait till it's time to forage it. We need to forage the barley. This may be the last year I do barley forage. Um, I may be just neglecting the robot completely going forward. Um, just because I need so much hay, so much um, whole crop silage. And I just don't have access to it during the year. I do have access to it during the year, but it costs too much um, when compared with May silage. So I'm buying May silage and probably just taking bonus grass silage from uh, grass contracts and uh, using that to make food with. Uh, one of the things I'm going to... Oh, this is... So the okay. So quick, quick introduction. The maize silage I buy from the store, I can unload it into the um, the bale storage. But when I call it forth, it spawns under the ground. Um, the grass silage I have that's in there fortunately spawns above ground so that makes it easy to load the uh, animal feeder but that spawning under the ground is a problem it means I have to delete all the bales on the map which fortunately bales in this in the storage do not count as bales on the map neither neither do chopped up bales in the the TMR mixer so we're okay there um, but I basically went down with the Anderson, unloaded the maize bales into the bale storage. That worked, but as I said, when I called them forth, they spawned under the ground. So I deleted all of the... Uh, I pulled them all out, which means they all spawned underground. I deleted them all, and then I regenerated them to make sure the cows had food. So, not really cheating, just bales are a problem on this map. And I don't know if it's, you know, May Maze Plus or something else, one of the other um, mods that I have running, but bales are just completely out of it. Anyway, here's our little weeder thing. Ho. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, okay, let's put the weight back on. That's kind of interesting. Everything jumped on without me pushing a button. And I guess since it is a little bit worse for wear, We'll go over it with the uh, the dude who owns the store and make sure all the tines and everything are in good condition. Okay, there we go. Let's get back on the road, back to the field, and then we will sell our soybeans. So that should be probably another 90,000 income. Our money is going up. I'm pretty sure we had 86,000 just a few moments ago. We're on 88,952. So that will be the small BGA processing. Not bad. Everything else I have to manually sell. The, now the reason I've got the small BGA on auto sell is because there is nowhere to sell 
methane or electricity on this map. There are no cell points. So, um, all I've done is said, rather than store the stuff, just sell it direct. So that's what's happening there. So we are going to get income every so often. Every time there is a, I don't know, some trigger point of you have enough methane or electricity to sell at this point so we'll sell a batch of yeah numbers in the air we'll we'll sell a hundred units of electricity and give you money for it at least that's what I'm assuming is going on now obviously if there was a sell point I'm still not sure how you transport it, and that's neither here nor there. And obviously, um, selling direct is not as lucrative as taking it to a sell point and selling it, which, which is why we do that with our bread and our butter, because um, it just happens quicker. Or, yeah, we get more money for doing it that way. I would get even more money if I waited to the best sell point of butter and bread and then sold all of it in one shop. But um, I have said those are perishable items. We don't have long-term storage. They're just sitting out in the sun. So I have to make one sale per month, per game month. And I did that yesterday game day. So, anyway, we are almost back to the yard. Then I need to find out where to go and sell the soybeans. And I have figured there is a small bug with the... Um, with the best price thing. Is this me? This is me. Okay. Gonna go down the bottom. Unfold it. And let it loose. We're probably gonna have to go around the edges, but uh, this should map out okay. We don't smash the windows riding through the uh, the things, the branches. Okay, so we'll get that unfolded. It's really not that big. I think it's about 6.4 meters, which is obviously not as wide as the widest weeders, but it's a hoe, so it does two levels of weeds. So we've only got we should only have one because uh, planters the planter we used wasn't direct drill so small weeds we could use a weeder you can use a hoe on them so that's fine and AI worker go go gadget keep going you can do it So it's just going to rip out all of the weeds that are grade, you know, growth stage one or two, which is fine. Oh uh, yeah, there's there's going to be some gaps. I should going back to here. Oh, field needs ploughed. Wow. So yeah, we're ripping up the weeds quite nicely. Not these fields have all the brownness because whatever. This field didn't get mulched because we bought it after it was uh, it was a thing. Anyway, let's get over to this tractor here. And uh, let's line it up a bit better, I guess. I 
step on this it's a little bit close I guess that should be good yay soybeans start so yes the thing I noticed on this is it says I have 215,000 litres of soybean best place to sell it is the grain elevator Price is 11.24, their best price is 12.37. Now, um, if I go to this one, I've just loaded the truck up. So 30,000 soybeans are now in the truck. This is now down to 48. That 48 is three times that. And I think... Um, that's interesting. Farmer's Market Grain Elevator. I thought there was three things listed just a minute ago. Um, hmm. Oh, show locations. I have... One of those is the farmyard. Uh, is the... Um, the doodad. So I've got Multisol 60, a farmer, OB1000, and a Karma 16. That's where the location, all exactly the same. Now, if I jump out here, do you not? There we go. So that is this thing here. Okay. So suddenly we know what the middle thing is. What's the multi-soul 60? And what's the Karma 16? 